And welcome back. Well, this is a great shot from A Night to Shine. It's prom for people with developmental disabilities. It's the second year for this event, and you can see that it's super well received. I love that picture we just had. That was so fantastic. And this year's event is next Friday night, and three local churches are co-hosting it. Mike Thurtle is the president and CEO of Bethesda Lutheran Communities. Great Good to, to have you. Good morning, ladies. You, you always light up when you talk about this event. I love this event. It's outstanding. Last year we had about 500 people. We're going to double that this year, about 1,000 people. And to see their faces when they walk in the door and they walk down that red carpet, and we got the friendly paparazzi who are going to be there. <laughs> they get corsages. We've got a DJ, food. St. John's cadets are going to be there this year. They're going to help escort. It's just a wonderful Aww. evening all the way around. How do, how do these students learn about A Night to Shine? Because I know at Bethesda, we've been there for Coffee on Us mm -hmm. and featured some of the great students that you're doing and hosting, kind of learning and teaching all these developmental um, abilities to be able to work and thrive as right. they grow. How, how do all these students come together? Are they all Bethesda students? No, they're not. This is really word of mouth. So we're, we're working with different organizations in the Milwaukee area. It's email, it's the show today, it's the internet, and it's literally word of mouth, and people, we're just getting all kinds of people coming out. It's outstanding. We're, we're gonna, I think we're up around 800 people right now. It's great. So getting the word out today will be awesome to spread that news and get people there. And How many can you accommodate for the dance? Is there a maximum number of people? About 1,000 is what we're looking at okay. for total. So okay. we're about 250 people who are gonna be participants and the rest are going to be volunteers. And so there's all kinds of volunteer opportunities. The YMCA and Economy Walk at Paps Farms is hosting this year. Mm -hmm. They were so gracious to open their doors for us. It's and awesome. It's just a great venue. What's the Tim Tebow mm -hmm. connection? Tim's foundation puts this on across the country. So we were blessed as one of several organizations to be uh, chosen to participate and host this. And we were last year too. So. Last year, we tried really hard to get him up here to Milwaukee, mm -hmm. but February in Milwaukee is a little <laughs> bit cold. <laughs> yeah, just a little. It's so not the biggest draw it to wasn't, the community. No. So, yeah. so he stayed down south last year, and so we're, maybe he'll come up this year. We don't know. Come but. on, Tim. <laughs> come on, Tim Tebow. Come on, Tim Tebow. You can come spend the day on the yellow couch. Yeah, again. join us. Talk about it. Um, okay, this is wonderful. So who do you want to attend? At this point, are all the students chosen, or can more um, people we, with developmental disabilities attend? We have attend? openings. Yeah, we okay. have openings. So it's, it's it's really anybody who still wants to sign up and go to our website okay, okay. and do that and volunteers too and I've been posting on Twitter and LinkedIn and we're getting people coming out and we're just excited about that so there's still room. And what is the age of the, the young people who are able to attend this event? At least 16 years old. Okay. okay. So we, we kind of have a certain line in terms of age. Okay. Um, but you know there's a lot of people out there who would like to participate in an event like this and to put this on like we do and to have Tim's sponsorship makes us just a wonderful evening all the way around. Yeah, so. it's fantastic. I think it's going to be great. You've got all those other activities, the DJ, what else will be going on? It looks like they come, do they all arrive in a, in a limo? We've got volunteers and donations. Everything's been donated. Wonderful. And so we have people who've literally donated their time and their services for limousine rides. Mm -hmm. We're going to have some big limos circling around, picking people up, dropping them off. They register. And the they red get, carpet. They get a corsage. I shined shoes last year in the print room. <laughs> That's uh, awesome. So the print that room. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Never heard that before until I shined shoes last year at it, but we're going to have it again. Professional hairstylists, makeup yeah. folks. It's just a really neat evening. Last year, we, we shadowed a young lady who went through the whole process. Yeah. And to watch her face shine when she put on her dress and got there and danced and it was just great. I mean, Aww. there's few moments in your life that you can see where you can see that kind of sparkle in people's eyes. And That's this is awesome. One of those. Yeah. Good for you. It's great for this organization. We want to make sure people know how they can sponsor this fabulous event, be part of it, volunteer, or you can find out more even about attending. Your chance to shine. Here's the website. It's Bethesda lutherancommunities.org slash night to shine or you can call this phone number it's 920-262-6515 to find out more it's wonderful to see you yeah. thank it's you so much and i hope it's another awesome event this be. year thank, thank you very much thank you so much thank you